Costi along with driver Steve Reynolds. And right to his left there is the camera, the Itachi camera, giving us those great pictures. Let's go to uh, Scotty Pierce with Jim Hendrick. I've said it before, Don, this young man, Scott Ferris, if he gets a real good equipment under him someday, he's going to be a hot shot driver. He battles his boats all the time. Now, this boat is acting a little better than when you took your flip out in Madison. Yeah, actually, it's a whole lot better, and it's a credit to my crew that we've got her settled down somewhat, and uh, we're able to go a little bit quicker. But in this uh, the water conditions that we have today, when it's rough like this, we're really just up against it because our boat's pretty light, and it just doesn't want to go through it. Scott Ferris down here in the pit area, Don. And it's rundown time for the final preliminary heat of the day. The Budweiser, good day for Jim Kropfeld, the Tosti Kawaguchi, moving on down the line. Heat 2B coming up. And we near the 12 second mark as again they come around the north third. And again, American Speedy printing with Ron Snyder leading the fleet to the starting line down to five seconds. Here we go with the start of Heat 2B. And American Speedy printing is out in front. Inside of him is the U-80, the Kawaguchi Travel, and on the far inside, the Budweiser and Jim Kropfeld. American Speedy bouncing along again as they go into that rocky south turn. The Budweiser in first, the U-80 Kawaguchi Travel in second, and on the third lane right there, American Speedy printing with Ron Snyder. The Budweiser with a skid fin digging in, rolling around those thousand-foot turns in diameter. The Budweiser in first place. Jim Kropfeld out of Cincinnati, Ohio, down the back chute. In second place right now, American Speedy printing. So let's see how he's doing. Yes, he's rolling along pretty well. Here comes the U-80, the Kawaguchi travel with Ron Armstrong. One of the heaviest boats, really, in the fleet. It's better than 10,800 pounds. But it's moving quite well. And on the inside, in second place right now, Ron Armstrong and the Kawaguchi travel. In third place, American Speedy printing. Tosti Asti is back away. The Budweiser in first place with Jim Croft on the board, looking for his second straight win in Seattle, Washington. American Speedy printing, as you see, cutting inside as they go around the turn and head down the main chute. The Tosti Asti on the outside. Hey, we got quite a traffic jam. We got about four boats bunched up now battling for second place. The Budweiser, the clear leader on the right side of your screen. You see the helicopter above with the officials aboard. The Tosti Asti is now moved up alongside American Speedy. And on the inside, the Kawaguchi travel with Ron Armstrong. The far inside is the light all-star with Tom Dean, another turbine-powered boat. Four boats going into the south turn with the Budweiser clearly in front. There's the difference between first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. The Tosti Asti with Steve Reynolds out of Seattle now. Looks like he's moving ahead. Yes, he's in second place. You see the light all-star right there with Tom Dean. The boat out of Houston, Texas, designed by Jim Lucero. Tom slowly moving up against the Dusty Osti. Again, the Budweiser in first place, but a great traffic jam between four other boats. Jim Kropfeld, his first lap is better than 116 miles per hour. The speed's not all that high, and of course, one big reason, the water here on Lake Washington in Seattle. Very turbulent, a lot of rollers. Rollers are much worse than chops for an unlimited hydroplane. Second place to Steve Reynolds in the Tosti Austin Turbine. Third to the Light Turbine, the Light All-Star with Tom Dean aboard. Into the South Turn, back to the Budweiser, the Griffin Engines. They have one for every heat. Their boat shop is only a couple of miles away from the course. They're based here in Seattle, as is the Tosti Asti in Kent, Washington, just 30 minutes south of here. The Light All-Star, based in Houston with Tom Dean out of Detroit. But the Griffin-powered reliability is really paying off for the Budweiser today. Average speed right now for the Budweiser, better than 115 miles per hour. Again, not that fast, but again, very turbulent waters. Jim Kropfeld waving at the beach as he goes by. Confident driver. They still got a couple laps to go. Third place to the light all-star, Tom DeEat aboard that Lucero design boat. It was built right here in Seattle, as a matter of fact, before it was shipped to Houston. Boats beginning to string out a little bit as we go on the final lap. And Jim Kropfeld of the Budweiser in total control. There's a good picture of the two and a half mile course here on Lake Washington. The Budweiser, the Tosti Osti with Steve Reynolds, the Vietnam veteran. Of course, Tom DeEat and the light all-star in the blue and white beautiful boat. And Ron Snyder, an American speedy printing. He's got a sore shoulder, by the way, his right shoulder. He dislocated it earlier playing softball. There's Ron Armstrong and the Kawaguchi Travel. Very sophisticated telemetry system with that boat, gauging RPMs, propeller use, etc. Quite a boat, and that is quite a boat too. The Budweiser winning Heat 2B, a perfect day so far. Second place to the Tosti Asti, and third to the Turbine, the Light All-Star. Here's how they finished at Heat 2B. The Budweiser, a perfect day with 800 points for Jim Kropfeld, the Tosti, the Light All-Star, and moving on down the line.
for the day, the Budweiser, as I said, going great guns, the Tosti Osti KZOK with 338. And it looks right now that the Bud and the Tosti in good shape to make the final. Right now, Jim is with the winningest owner in hydroplane history, Bernie Little. Second win in a row, Don. Let's get the happy owner, Bernie Little, who's the nervous wreck. I don't understand. You pace up and down all the time. Yeah, well, Jim, uh, you see the conditions of the water out there, and uh, those boats are flying pretty good. And, uh, you know, these drivers, uh, their adrenaline's going, and they want to win. And, uh, you know, yeah, I get pretty nervous. You yell, slow down, Jim. Slow down, Jim. Yeah, he can't well, hear you. Why not go to a radio helmet? Well, I think if I do that, uh, he'll quit. <laughs> <laughs> That's the story for the Budweiser Cap. Winners of Heat 2B, perfect 800 points so far. And Jim, the field for the final heat is now set. The Budweiser, Atlas Van Lines, the Tosti Osti, Joe Ritchie, Spirit of Detroit, Executone Telephones, and Oboy Alberto got in there. Here's a big part of the 7-Eleven Freedom Cup each year. The Blue Angels always make an appearance. We'll return to Seattle, Washington in just a moment.